Hey, it's your girl, Christine, and a couple of people were like, hey, you need to check out Jaden's latest video. So I'm like, all right. Her videos have been very enjoyable, animation-wise, and I love the way that she tells. I like her storytelling, like the way she tells stories. So this video is Random Thoughts, part two edition. Link in the description box below by Jaden Animations. And I'm, I'm excited to see what her random thoughts are this time. Cause last time, like I said, the way she tells stories is pretty funny. Welcome back to Random Hello. Thoughts. This time, part two edition. Okay. I want to talk about random idea, things idea, that cross idea. my mind, but can't stretch them into their own videos. Okay. So I'm shambling them all together to make a weird caboodle video that has a whole caboodle of nonsense. That's cute. If you haven't seen my first random thoughts you? video, you don't need to watch that one first to understand okay. this one. Thinking about it, you could pretty much jump in at any point of either of these right, videos right, and you'll be fine since it's nothing but a melting pot of balderdash. The source .com I don't think I've heard that word before. A rainbow of colorful words today. TheSource.com? Poppycock. Are there limits to what you can call what? a fork? There's three pronged forks and four pronged forks. Mm. Can a knife be classified as a one pronged sharp fork? Uh, you use them both to stab things. No. Well, I guess knives are more slicing and true. Cutting. Can a sword be classified as a one pronged super sharp fork? Mm. Those things were definitely both created to stab. Can a fork fall in the category of a tiny, really dull four pronged sword? Is there a spectrum uh, of fork to knife to sword? Back in like the Renaissance like, era, I, I mean, the, I'm like, it's like one of those things where you're hearing somebody talk and you're like, okay, wait, I think I have a thought, but then they ask other questions and then you're like, I'm kind of a little confused now. And this is definitely one of those things. Yeah, but I get what she's saying but i understand why it is separate it is a separate thing knives and forks are separate although you can slice and cut with a fork i've done it like if you have a plate of food you'll slice a piece of the food off with your fork is she onto something is she onto something well said hmm. sir i challenge you to a super sharp one pronged fork duel. i don't <laughs> or even what if, sir, I, I challenge you to a dull four-pronged tiny sword duel? One's gonna die. Oh no, he brought a less dull tiny one-pronged fork sword. So you know, bananas, yes. those yellow They're things. So cute. I don't know about your life, but I always grew up not eating any bruises on bananas. I like that. There's nothing wrong with bruised bananas. They're the same as any normal They're banana. They're sweeter. They're sweeter though. I think. They're sweeter. I just did research, as in the first result in so Google, with and it says for bananas to ripen, they start to make a hormone called ethylene, which sounds like an ingredient in gasoline. Yes, it does. But it's not. It's what turns bananas from their super gross green oh, to the yellow phase to the softer, sweeter, and quite frankly, super more cute. superior yellow face. Yay, ethylene. Yay. But apparently, ethylene doesn't know how to chill out. So even when a banana is at the perfect ripeness, mm -hmm. the ethylene is like, mm. No, I think we can keep going. I this think is so we can cute. Be even more ripe. What's the worst that can it happen? It can rot. So the banana just tries to infinitely get more oh, ripe. Oh goodness! Is what eventually turns it mushy. Oh. Right? No, Ethelene. Oh, Isn't that Ethelene. just a metaphor for life? You can't endlessly chase the image of banana perfection you have in your head, little Aww. banana. You should try to stop and appreciate the ripeness you're at. That is true. Or that else is you'll like keep for working life. towards something unachievable and get all mushy. Bye. Banana body positivity. <laughs> Unless you're a green banana. Then I hate it. <laughs> so the dark spots are basically just the banana oh starting to get too ripe. Which means they're harmless. But they used to freak That's me true. out a lot. It is so I'd have to cut them off for something to be able Aww. to enjoy the rest of but the But they're banana. sweeter. And then I started That's thinking, good. what if there was a banana monster that ate humans? Would they want to eat the bruises on humans? Mm. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, splits. This one has a bruise on it. You know those parts are still edible, right? <laughs> I just... I, I don't like them. I think they taste good. I'm, I'm happy for this. Here, you can just cut no! off the pieces. It's fine. Let me just use this one pronged fork of mine. One this started off all I like the carry over. and informational. And then I think I ruined it. Since you brought up the topic of bananas, I was at a store checkout line one time and this guy got in queue mm -hmm. behind me. I didn't think anything of it until I saw this river of bananas scroll up to the register. True. Imagine, so you know how grocery stores have their bananas on mm -hmm. display and underneath They've the, got display, the boxes. sometimes there's more boxes yeah. of bananas? He had like four of those banana boxes all laid out on the conveyor belt. I've never seen anyone buy that many bananas That before. is unique, unless he's got a restaurant. You, know you have to eat all those in a certain amount of time, right? With the ethylene and all that? The ethylene. Is this your first time buying bananas? <laughs> I looked up to see who this hero of a man That's was, true. and we made eye contact, uh -huh. and I didn't know what to do, but I felt like I had to say yes. something because I was yeah. so proud of him. So I just went, yeah. 
Bananas are my favorite too. Aww. What are fish's opinions on water currents? Do you think they think they're annoying? Welcome home, Aww. fish dear. How was your day at the office? From the office. Ah, oh, fish wife. The currents were That's pretty cute. strong today. I was swimming to fish work and the currents swished all my fish papers out of my Aww. fish hands. I mean fins, so I was late. Hmm. Our fish neighbor Benja fish crashed into Benja me fish? on my way as well. Currents were too strong for his feeble. I fish think they body. actually like the know currents. Him in his old fish age. That helped them. Oh, fish friend. Oh, fish, fish friend. Life. There's no need to use that type of fish link. <laughs> this is stupid. But our strong water currents for fish the equivalent to like. I like the like the fish fish. She was going in and she knew she was going in, so she's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Wind is my least favorite weather. People with long hair can understand. Or do you when think it's out, more yeah. like fun amusement park rides? Or at least slides. Aww. Like in Nemo when they were with the high turtle. That seemed like <laughs> the fun. high turtle. I can imagine a fish charging the fish current. money to let other fish go down the river stream or a little waterfall. Fun for Aww. the entire fish family. <laughs> Fish knee world. But then I remember those clips of okay. salmon trying to swim upstream against the water to go have a oh, the bear. And that whole ordeal just seems like an inconvenience. Especially because Bears. Bears. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh fish for <laughs> Are we all just brains wearing human meat suits? Let's pretend there's a fountain of Hold on, somewhere. hold on. I like how real. she just breezes through some of the thoughts. She has a thought and then she just lets it like go. I just love, I love how it was like this deep galaxy image behind her. She like, are brains just, are we the brains just wearing these big meat suits? And there's this like fading in uh, version of her and the other one just <laughs> like, that was cute. That was funny. And it, it's like, it makes you think of like those when they like, the universe, like Neil deGrasse Tyson type of uh, videos. Real thing. Do you think that if you sat in it too long that your fingers would get wrinkly? I like yeah. how you like that. Get it? Because water makes your hands. Do you think if you sit in it for too long, you'll eventually just turn into your mom and dad because before you became a human baby, that's how you originated? Uh, no. If you no. wait even longer, do you become your grandparents? Oh. Can you keep going until the fountain? The fountain of youth. Okay, so if you would you turn into your parents because that's where you originally came from? That is actually a good question. But I don't think you would turn into your parents in the Fountain of Youth. I think you would just become either the egg or the egg helper. Only reason I'm saying egg helper, egg helper is because of the age difference on this channel. Not quite sure how old all of you are yet. So egg helper or egg. That's what we'll go with. Hashtag demonetized. Villages of ancestors sitting in this fountain. Can we reach amoeba phases? RNA in the primordial soup? How long the are you still sitting there? I talked about keeping wow. a little list of these random thoughts. She was I freaking think about out. them over time in part one. And this point just says, why are bugs always pregnant with no other Wait, what? <laughs> So, I don't know what to talk about here or what past Jaden was even thinking when she wrote when that. She wrote As a that. kid, I would That's daydream so cute. a lot. In fourth grade, sometimes I would make Aww. up this scenario in my head. Yeah, I daydream a lot too. School, like any normal day. And in the middle Aww. of class, I would magically be turned into a dog. Oh, did you Stay with me here. Okay. I'm not a furry. So, I was transformed into a dog somehow, and I imagined that I'd get up from my desk, okay. walk up to the teacher, uh -huh. and say, Can I go home? I'm a dog. And that would be my excuse to Sweet. get out of school. <laughs> Smell you later. Smell you later. That's cute. So what's it like to be a normal kid? I feel like the majority uh. of people would just try to pretend they're sick or something. Me? <laughs> nah. Being turned into a dog would, would be, be the, the most best logical thing. and easiest way to get out of school. That would I be the best know. thing. The best thing to turn into a dog. I can't say as far as from a normal standpoint because I'm not normal. Like A lot of the times when I talk to my husband, I explain something as a thought. He, normal His normal response is to eyebrows go big and he laughs and he's like, yeah, of course that would happen besides this apparent logical thing that could, <laughs> could happen. The craziest you said Oh yeah, of course that's plausible, he says sarcastically. And he's like, of course it's not this super logical, regular thing that could happen. So I couldn't help you, Jaden, because my brain don't work like normal people do. Yeah. Follow-up plan for after I got out of class. I'd go home, 
And then yeah, what? And then just be a dog for Oh, yeah, you can play life? video Obviously, games. Obviously, I had to be a dog that talked, so maybe True. I would have became a super famous talking oh, dog. Oh, lots of money. Scientists might want to take me away and run tests on me and my weird human uh, dog possibly, brain. Possibly, but not all the time. All I not to do was get all out the of class. I'd probably end up daydreaming about turning back into a human <laughs> to get out of dog experimental lab class. Or I could just pretend to be sick like a normal science experiment test. Do you subject. see how deep she went? I can get that deep. I think it's funny when you watch videos like this and you see you in, like see things that you that are relatable, but yet not relatable, right? Like when she was saying how she wouldn't know how a normal person would think. And for me, it's relatable for me to have that mindset, like how she had of thinking of becoming a dog and uh, get, to get out of school because I would have a crazy thought like that. I if I told you some of the things that I was I had like a plan in my mind because I was convinced of something type of a mindset and there's another lady I've spoken to that has the same issue you guys would you'd be like this chick is freaking crazy which I kind of am so when she was saying to, uh, 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 she doesn't know what normal people would think I'm like oh my gosh I'm, uh, I'm in that boat, boat too because a normal person would think, hey, let me get sick, become, like, pretend to be sick so I'd get out of school. Not, like, becoming a dog or becoming a superhero or any kind of other crazy things I could have thought of back when I was in school. But it's, it's, it's funny to, like, realize how not normal you are and some people are like, oh, that's bad. But I think it's fine. I think it's fun not being normal. I think it's fun to be an oddball that has these weird mindsets or thoughts about things. And that's just who we are, James. It's who we are. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What was the most random thought that you've ever had? If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below. If you like this video, hug the like out of that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you're notified of when I post. I love you guys as always. And until next time.